Ntlantla Benjamin Susha is a multi-talented artist who uses a variety of material ranging from oil paints, prints, ceramic sculpture and metal. From Rogue's Drift Art School to the Slade Art School in London, he has executed public sculptures in the United Kingdom and elsewhere. He has lectured in universities in South Africa and exhibited his work worldwide. Siavuga Lateral Improvement Foundation has now put together an exhibition of its uh, emerging artists mentored by Ntlantla Susha. And to share more on this, we are joined by Ponzo Pori, the PR and Digital Marketing Officer, as well as visual artists Tando Ndlozi and Suzanne Baloy. Very good morning. Thank you so much for joining us. Welcome. Morning. Good morning. Great stuff. Good to have you on the show this morning. <laughs> Tando, let you. me start with you. So what has uh, working on these projects taught you about, you know, just showing your emotion through your art? Uh, to tell the truth, uh, with my project that I've, I did, uh, it's basically, it's more about women. And what I did, I did this project through around lockdown. And mm -hmm. then it was, it took it, a lot of emotions and it took a lot of strength to, to execute actually the, the project that I did. And then which it comes to back that I was raised by women. Mm -hmm. I've been raised about women. I had to tell a story. Uh, in a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a way that I need to explain how men usually abuse women, or how they rape women, everything that they do to women, because right. I was raised by women. And when it comes to that, uh, in everything that I do, it's all about women, because I was raised by one. Yeah, and yeah. with my project, when you go watch it, uh, you will see you just said that it's called Second Chance, because everyone in the world deserves one. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Well, I suppose it's safe to assume that your body of work, you know, is an encapsulation yes. of all the social issues yes. uh, that South Africans are grappling with. Yes. Is that the intention? It was. It was. Actually, it is because, um, as I'm saying, that uh, every project that I've been doing, I have three pieces in the project. Yeah. And the first piece, it, it represents women. The second piece, it represents men. And the third piece, it represents uh, the... Uh, let me say the, the weapons that men use uh -huh. to do everything that they're doing to women, right, and which is, right. I've been, I, I want, I want everything that's happening to stop. Yes. You understand? I want everything that's happening to stop as men abusing women. I'm against that. Sure, that is so, so my profound. project is yes, my project is all about that. That is so yes. powerful. Yeah. Thank you very much. <laughs> Jeez, man. All right, uh, Ponzo, let me repeat. Now, before we get to the exhibition mm -hmm. in greater detail, just take us through the background of who Ntlantla and Susha is and mm -hmm. the decision to rope him in, in, in this uh, mm -hmm. conversation. Uh, thank you so much. Um, so, uh, to just before we get there, the the, the history of Siavuka Lateral Improvement, yes. we work with um, Ketseta to our artist program. So, with, through this program, we equip the artists around Soweto yes. and Joburg in this case, and um, take them through our artist program, which is. They learn how to design and then okay. later okay. on they produce a product that will then be sold on maybe our website or now uh, live at Rosebank Keys Art Mail. Yeah. So, uh, oh, Mr. Ben Nshusha in this case, because he's still very young, by the way, he's quite old, <laughs> but he's still very young at heart, um, has been uh, a part of Siavoga for quite a long. He mm -hmm. has an extensive mm -hmm. relationship with um, our director, Mr. Um, Matole, whom he mentored. So he's been in the industry for 50 years or plus, I think. And um, we thought that he is the right person to, to come on board and actually inspire the upcoming yeah. artists. Since, um, uh, if you can take it back from the FUBA days, he's, he's been there mm -hmm. and he's traveled the world. So we thought that this is the person that these artists need to uh, speak with and hear in detail what it means to be an upcoming artist because okay. um, he has all the experience and um, we are very delighted to have him on board in this case as Cecilia Vogalitro because we have a, a relationship with him and as a father and as a mentor he's been quite yeah, helpful in this yeah, project. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Now, Susanne, mm -hmm. let me also bring you in. So what does it mean for you as an artist to be a part of this exhibition and what's your role, what's your contribution? Um, my contribution is to narrate a story that will change our society. Mm -hmm. um, to be part of this program, it was, um, I can say it is a game changer because mm -hmm. they have taught us how to be independent artists.
and how to look beyond just creating a beautiful image, yes. but um, take it into the business side of it and become our own entrepreneurs. Okay. And throughout the program, I was able to learn so much in a short period of time. I think the program only lasted about um, six months. But in that six months, I was able to have my own um, art studio opening in Soweto, in Snake Park, in the squatter camps. And um, through their information, or rather the teachings that we have had, I was able to access proper channels that I was able to invite to the open studio, and it was a success. Mm. So what yeah. are your main areas of focus through your work? Uh, my main uh, focus through my work is um, people who are living in squatter camps. Mm. I'm fascinated by how the structures in, in squatter camps are made out of. Okay. It's mostly uh, lost and found pieces of corrugated iron, but they were able to take those pieces and make something that brings a shelter that one can be able to relate to as a home, as a house, as a place that brings warmth in their lives. Okay. Now, Tando, yes. those attending this exhibition and those viewing your work, so what is it that you uh, hope they will take away? So w what are you hoping they will feel after viewing your work? Um change change okay. uh, I, I i believe that uh, after they view my work they'll go back home uh, as changed people because of right. the story that i'm trying to tell uh -huh. you understand uh, and and see the world differently or see people differently or sure. see women differently mm -hmm. you understand because at the end everyone deserves a second chance sure. everything that you do to to a woman being uh, the killing and everything because if you kill someone that person doesn't have a second chance mm -hmm. you understand so that's why also i'm calling my work a second chance because okay. everyone deserves a second chance all right yes so i didn't need to go home and feel a bit better about themselves and with the perspective that you know what there's some, there's some stuff that i did before but now i'm a changed man uh -huh. i need to do things differently because okay. now Ponzo, just uh, considering you know the originality that runs through most if not all of these work and uh, some of the works are abstract so what are some of the conversations that you're hoping uh, these uh, pieces and work will spark yeah well that question i really really wish that we were having this uh, conversation live at keys at mill so yeah. that people can be able to see the different artworks that we have um on on showing mm. so um it's different characters it's different um all of them are telling a different story mm -hmm. in this case um and this is a south african story from different individuals so they are trying to to put out there the awareness in this case gender-based awareness um the suicide attempts you know that young people go through in this case you know the daily challenges of just um Okay. being a young person and trying to make it all right and um i i, I urge people to actually just come to the exhibition yeah. and see the artwork and relate to the different artworks that we have there okay so it's, we're out yeah. of time unfortunately yeah. but uh, this is uh, okay. certainly an interesting exhibition mm -hmm. that we hope uh, so many people will benefit a great deal out of it thank yeah. you so much for joining us this morning thank you very thank much. You so much all right, Siafuga Lateral Improvement Foundation just put together an exhibition of its emerging artists. We just spoke to Ponzo Pori, the PR and Digital Marketing Officer, as well as visual artists Tandun Lozi and Suzanne Baloy.